Hey everyone, how's it going? Steph here, I'm the Secret Slob, and I'm so excited because today is day 21, last day of our 21 day beginner zone cleaning series. I've stuck to my zone cleaning routines this whole month. Every day that I said I was gonna do zone cleaning, I did it. And I hope that you did it along with me, or at least did 15 minutes of decluttering or any kind of cleaning every single day. And I know that if you've done that, your house probably already looks crazy different because I know mine does. So last day, I mean, until next week when we start again in zone one, but last day of this first cycle, which I'm super stoked about, um, I'm gonna finish up in my den. I don't have a ton to do. Remember yesterday I had all those like, like half check marks. So I'm just gonna finish wiping down this desk wash my windows and then just wash the floor in the center here. And then I'm gonna try and get down to my basement. So with that said, today is our last day. Even if you didn't do every day perfectly, don't worry about it. Do something today, it's Friday, you'll feel so good finishing off the week, getting something done for yourself. So 15 minutes, let's do it. Okay, here I go. First things first is the windows. It is so smoky here. So the windows are all closed and I'm just getting the insides wiped. I really want to get outside and wash those outsides of the windows so that now that I'm cleaning them all in my zone cleaning on the insides, they'll be sparkly and clean and let so much more light in, especially in summer when the sun is nice and high and bright. So I'm just washing it down using water vinegar mixture and a little microfiber window rag, and then I'm gonna just wipe down the desk. So I don't spray my water vinegar mixture onto the desk. Obviously we have a lot of electronics, so I spray it onto my cloth and then wipe everything down from there. And I'm just giving the TV stand a wipe and the top of the TV and just where the buttons are and things like that. So that's all done. I have my vacuum. I'm going to vacuum the center of the room. Yesterday I did the outside edges when I had all the furniture pulled out. And so today all I have to do is vacuum the center of the room. It's a little bit like a weekly home blessing, but I'm gonna try and get some of these extra crusty little spots out by using my foot on mop method of scrubbing out the little crusty bits. So. I'm using a water vinegar spray on my floors, but I'm thinking about changing to a different spray. I'm not sure yet. Some people have been saying the vinegar mixture on my hardwood floor isn't good for it, and I certainly don't want to wreck my floor. So, so far I haven't noticed anything wrong, but I mean, over time I wouldn't want it wearing down. So if you know anything better to use, let me know. I'm all done upstairs, and so I've got 10 minutes to work in my basement really fast. This room we use solely for kind of a big toy playroom for my kids. We have a huge winter here and I really don't like a bunch of toys in my main living areas. I like them to be nice and clear. So we just kind of let the kids go nuts down here. We have lots of nice big toys and a indoor trampoline with a net, it's just a little one, and they can come down here and burn off energy, especially in our long, long winters that get really cold and they just cannot go outside. I got the sheets pulled off of the guest bed. My sister had already done half the job, so thank you, Jill. And so now I'm just moving the toys around, trying to vacuum underneath everything, vacuum all the areas. There's lots of little feathers from feather pillows down here and duvets and just, Lots of crumbs, because even though they're not really supposed to bring snacks down here, somehow crackers always find their way into every room of our house. So I'm just doing my best to vacuum up as quickly as possible, getting into every area as best I can. I'm not moving all of the furniture, like that TV stand is so heavy, and it's all plugged in, and I just... I can't be bothered today. I really wanna get most of this room done and I don't really have time, so another day maybe I'll move it or if my husband's around, I'll get him to help me move it. So just finishing up with the vacuum, the other thing we don't have in the basement is baseboards or trim yet, so there wasn't even any dusting to do. So lucky me, one day that stuff will all be in and I'll have to clean that too. But for now, it's a win with just vacuuming. All right, that's it. So, I got my guest sheets pulled out of there. My sister had done it, so I only had a couple pillowcases. I got the floor vacuumed, and we put the toys away yesterday. I know I didn't do it during my 15 minutes, but we were down there. It was really hot out, so we just kind of did it and hung out. No big deal. Um, and then I got the furniture dusted. So pretty much everything. I do have a bathroom down there that I added to my list that I need to clean, and I didn't get to vacuuming the guest room. So. 
not quite finished, but I did pretty good on this list. I knew it was going to be an easy one because, you know, it's living room, den. There isn't always, whoops, there isn't always a lot of scrubbing involved um, the way the bathroom has. So that's it. I am giving myself a giant pat on the back, and you should too if you've been following along with me, or even if you've made any progress, or even if you've just started. This is by far the most consistency I have ever had with cleaning my house. I think my record prior to this was maybe a day and a half. So cleaning my house consistently for a whole month, even though it was only 15 minutes a day, I have never stuck with something this long and trust me I was the slobbiest of all slobs like I'm sure if we ever got my husband on here and you met my mom they would give you crazy stories it was bad I don't know about you this was the one thing I was a bit hesitant about because the deep cleaning thing is the thing I really dislike the most but when you put it with a timer and you know it's just 15 minutes I mean come on you can do anything for 15 minutes and you know, blast a little bit of music in your ears or listen to a podcast, it's gonna go by like that. So I really enjoyed it in the end and that was surprising for me. Okay, so I just turned it because the light was weird. Anyways, one last thing I wanted to talk about. I have all of my zone pages here and somebody put up a really good comment. I'm just gonna look really quick and just said, um, what are my zone cleaning insights from the beginning to now? So. I think I've kind of talked about this a little bit through my process, but a lot of it is just about efficiency. Figuring out the best way to get through a room without having to double back. So for example, if you're going to pull the furniture back from the walls to do baseboards, do your floors at the same time, you know, wipe the floors. Don't pull your furniture out twice in one week. So, you know, maybe just at the beginning, look ahead and say, okay, I've got baseboards, windows, and floors. Well, maybe try to get baseboards and floors done first so that you know you're gonna get those two things done that you need the furniture pulled out for before you tackle windows. So it's just a matter of kind of organizing the list and then and thinking it out. So linking, so linking tasks was a big part of the zone cleaning. The other thing I learned, my other big insight was stop when the timer stops. At the beginning, um, I would be on a roll and I'm cleaning. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting this done. And the timer would go and I just think, oh, I want to keep going. But stopping is the most critical part of this process because you'll start again the next day. If you keep going and power through in one day, chances are you're not going to want to do it the next day. It doesn't really become a habit. It doesn't become a routine. And you maybe won't even start again the next week. So learning to stop when the timer stops, stop everything and you know put it all back where it was and carry on the next day. So those are my two kind of big insights that I picked up this time around. So the second thing they asked was, um, any changes I will make to my control journal pages? Yes, lots of changes. It, even going through it this one time, I've already seen so many things. So I always wrote in the on the side, just using my eraser marker, things that I had missed. Because as I was going through, I was like, oh yeah, there's things I missed. Here's a big one. I missed lots of things here. So I just put them there. I crossed out things that were totally unnecessary. So now if I want, I can rewrite my zone list. So you might not want to do it after one round of zones. You might want to do it after two rounds because then you've already been through the whole list and you'll have all of your edits. But I think even just going through it one time, I got a pretty good idea of what I was missing and it's just basically referencing back to other similar rooms. Just like I forgot windowsills here even though I had it up here. So just referencing back and just being a little bit more uh, detail oriented about what's on the list. But you can always edit it. Edit it now, edit it later, update it all the time. Things are changing, rooms are changing, your house is changing, your lifestyle is changing all the time. So. I think that these detailed cleaning lists aren't set in stone. They need to kind of always be a little bit fluid, a little bit of a, a work in progress. Last question, would I recommend only approaching one room per zone for the first time someone does zone cleaning? I don't think so. This was the first time I did zone cleaning and I just started at the top with one room, got it done and kept working down the list. I didn't finish any of my lists this time, but it didn't intimidate me. It didn't make me feel like I couldn't get it done. So no, I don't think you just have to do one room. I think just stick to the 15 minutes. That's the most important part. 
So, so that's basically what I've learned on zone cleaning. Please remember, I'm not an expert yet. This is my first time doing them. These are just my insights from sticking with something. Your life might be totally different from mine and the way I do things maybe doesn't work for you and that's fine. It's about making the system work in your life. You don't have to do it the way I do it. You don't have to use the same products I use. The point is we're just getting something done. Something is better than nothing. So thank you so much everybody that joined me for this 21 day series, Zone Cleaning for Beginners. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope your house is sparkling and you have an excellent weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. I will talk to you soon. Bye.